Listen up, I got a bit of a vlog watcher challenge for all my steak fans this week. A fan art related challenge. For those of you unfamiliar, sometimes folks like to send fan art through the secret Barry Steak Fries email address and I will then show the fan art on the vlog because I gotta tell you some of my vlog watchers are pretty darn talented. I'll, I'll show you what I mean guys. I had a bit of a peek in the inbox this week. There was some seriously amazing artwork in there this time guys. I don't have time to get to everything this week but I promise I'll check the inbox more regularly in the future. Probably. Uh, anyway, here's a little snippet of what you folks have been sending through. First up, have a look at this from Zilly. That is seriously cool. Plus, I do definitely see myself as an angelic, divine being. So that pick really, really nails the Barry Steak Fries vibe, I reckon. So that's, that's pretty great. Here's another one from Zill getting into the Chinese New Year spirit. Which, of course, we're doing here at Half Brick. And as you can see from that picture, we are doing it in style. Fantastic stuff there from Zilly. This one here is awesome as well. This is from Erin, who we're always glad to hear from. I mean, that. That is totally awesome. The One Piece get up and those boots. I want those boots, Erin. Seriously, that is, yep, amazing. Uh, this is great here as well from the Josh Gamer. I especially like the way the guitar is just kind of hanging there in mid-air, like at any time I can just grab that guitar and bust out a shredding guitar solo if I was any good at shredding on the guitar. So that's that's amazing there as well from Josh Gamer. Here's one that Yo-Yo Nia sent through. I, I really like the simplicity and I mean, look, hate is a strong word to describe my feelings towards Dan. You know, I, I, I'd, I'd say we have more of a, um, of a healthy rivalry, I reckon. Uh, anyway, thanks for paying attention, Yo-Yo, and great drawing too, love it. Uh, and finally, Mel. Mel has sent through a whole lot of stuff, and I'm loving it all, Mel, I gotta tell you. Uh, here's a couple of my favourites. Firstly, there's me with my hog, looking badass in those sunnies. And here is me as a wizard, still, still pretty badass. Some would say even more so, really depends on your feelings towards wizards. Anyway, thanks very much Mel, love all of that, and thank you to everyone who sent through fan art. Sorry I didn't get to everything this week, but I will try to in the coming eps. Anyway, I had a point. I had a point about all this fan art. The reason I'm showing you guys this week all that, all that awesome stuff, not just to show off how totally awesome I look when people draw me, uh, but also because I, Barry Steak for Eyes, would like to challenge you guys to come up with some very specific artwork. What I'd like to see is some concept art of me in Super Smash Brothers. That's right, guys. This is stage one of my plan, which is a totally well thought out plan and not just something I thought of five minutes ago to get action video game hero and beloved vlog host Barry Steak Fries into everyone's second favorite game behind Jetpack Joyride, Super Smash Brothers. You know, it's a What's that? What? Oh, okay, okay. Third, third favorite game behind Fruit Ninja as well. And and what? Oh, and okay. And and Dan the Man, I guess. Uh, what's that? What's that? Okay, okay. Sorry guys, it's just been pointed out to me that according to page eight of my contract, I need to let you know that all the Half Brick games are better than Super Smash Brothers, apparently. But you get the point. Super Smash Brothers is great. And I reckon I deserve a spot by now. You know, I've been the headline act of my own video game for almost 10 years, guys. Almost makes you think it's time for a, almost time for a sequel, am I right? Am I, can I say, no, what's that? No, not allowed to mention that. Yeah, okay, fine, forget, forget that you heard that, guys. But seriously, I've appeared in loads of other games as well. I've host, I'm the host of my own award-winning vlog. Seems only fair now I get my Jews. My Super Smash, Smash Brothers Jews. That's hard to say, but there's no excuses anymore, you know? We all know lots of the characters that they're bringing into that game. They're not, they're not all Nintendo characters. Lots of different characters they, they bring in, like, 
like for, for, for instance, who the heck is Pac-Man? Doesn't make any sense. He's not even a man. It's just a yellow circle with a mouth. I mean, come on, surely B steak fries. Deserves a Guernsey ahead of this clown. Am I right? So, so this is my plan. Firstly, I'm going to assume that the head of Nintendo is is watching my vlog. So uh, if uh, you, um, uh, I, I don't actually know the name of whoever the head of Nintendo is, but I'm going to assume his name is Greg. Greg Nintendo. So Greg, old mate, come on. Very steak fries for Super Smash Brothers. You know what makes sense? Um, anyway, if Greg Nintendo isn't watching, maybe maybe he watches every other episode, but he's he's busy this week. Um, the next phase of my plan will be to bombard him with a whole bunch of spectacular artwork, showing him exactly how fully amazing it would be if Barry Steak Fries appeared in that game. So that's where you guys come in. Join, join me, join me on the Barry for Super Smash Brothers crusade. Hey, hashtag B F. Um, S S B C. Yeah, join me on the crusade by sending in some Super Smash Brothers concept art to the top secret email address, Larry Steak Fries one two three at gmail dot com. Uh, in particular, some fan art of me punching uh, Pac Man in his uh, in his face head. What is it exactly? I don't know. Whatever he is, he's freaking me out. Um. Also, feel free to send any other artwork that you'd like to send through to the email address. You guys don't have to follow the brief. It's your art. You guys get creative if you want to, and I'll make sure I show some more of it on this vlog very, very soon. So, anyway, all of that should be enough to convince them to get me into the game on the next release. And if not, my final phase of my plan is to sing a really catchy, very convincing song. That'll, that'll be a bit of an earworm to the powers that be. They won't be able to resist adding, adding old steak fries. Um, I don't know, something like this. Please, 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 put me in Super Smash Brothers. Please, 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 please. oh, please, please, please. Please, 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 Something like that. Anyway, I, I don't know. Could, could probably tweak those lyrics a touch, I guess. They are lacking a bit of subtlety. And I'll admit they are quite similar to one of my previous songs entitled Please, Please, Please. Put me in Kingdom Hearts, please, 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 please. Um, so I'll work on that. Uh, you guys work on the fan art, and I'll be giving Yoshi a beatdown before we know it. <laughs> anyway, let's see what you guys have been talking about this week. Uh, what do we got here? Me plays Resident Evil says, Barry, what's your favorite outfit to wear in Jetpack Joyride? Just wondering when you're going to look at more fan art. <laughs> well, I got you covered on the fan art this week, mate. Hey, see those ones from earlier? Fantastic. And uh, as far as my favorite costume goes, I reckon it's got to be, at the moment, it's got to be the Mandarin gown from the Chinese New Year event. That thing is, well, that thing is darn comfy, I've got to tell you. Uh, probably a good spot to remind you guys, the Chinese New Year event. Chinese New Year, New Year event. And it's new. And it's Chinese. Uh, still going on in Jetpack Joyride. So get amongst some Year of the Ox fun. Because that one will be finishing up pretty soon. What else we got? Zedion Allura. Nice name there. It says, Happy Valentine's Day. D damn the, damn the man. Oh, ah, well. Yeah, fine. I'll be, I'll be sure to pass that on. Um, also contractually obliged on page nine of my contract to mention that the damn the man Valentine's Day multiplayer event is also still live. So, you know, I know that's nowhere near as fun as my Jetpack Joyride Chinese New Year event, but you can play that one too, if you want. Uh, Alright, time for one more. What do we got here? Gab Nova says, pineapple. Uh, yep. Pretty good fruit, that. Tropical. Indigenous to South America, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 
Pretty sure one cup of pineapple contains 5% of your recommended daily intake of potassium, which is pretty good. Pretty good amount. Uh, what else? Oh, you can slice it up on Fruit Ninja 2, guys. You can play that too, if you want. Or the original Fruit Ninja. All of the Fruit Ninjas. Uh, you can slice up a pineapple, and you can also slice it up in real life if you have a pineapple and a sharp knife. Um, anything else you want to know about the pineapple, Gab Nova? All right, great. Uh, thanks, guys. Catch you next week. Very steak fries. <laughs>